Hi there, this is Jason Eagle, your Natural Health Authority with today's other snippet in the perfect location for telling you about how local honey can help protect you from seasonal allergies. This is getting to be springtime here in Michigan and uh, anywhere you live, uh, it becomes springtime and then we get flowers and then we get the bees that pollinate the flowers. Now, the thing is, is let's go to an allergy. People say, well, it's the pollen that I'm allergic to. And, and the first pollens that come out are actually the tree pollens. And then we get into some of the other, like the ragweed and type of stuff. But when typically a person has a, an allergy, like to say a classic allergy, it's, it's kind of all of them and it can be, in, but it's local, meaning you're breathing in, let's say these from these trees or from the flowers, these tiny little particles of pollen. And pollen have all these little weird different types of little shapes, uh, like little puzzle pieces. But what they do is they go into your nasal cavity, they go into your lungs and blah, blah, blah. But your system then attacks it with an immune system and says, whoa, um, I, that's something that's foreign to me. That's something <clears throat> that um, a, a, my body has a response to. And then when you have symptoms of, let's say, allergy symptoms, it's actually you're, you're reacting to your immune system. You're reacting to your reaction of it. And now the thing is, is that the pollens and stuff like that, they're not poisonous because there are other people that breathe it in and they don't have that allergy and it goes right into their system. It touches the same tissues and their body does not have the same response. So why the person with the allergy and why not the person? And person with the allergy, could they have the correct response? Yes, you can adapt a what's called an immune system, and that's what the bees are. The bees make honey from going to and collecting that pollen and connecting that nectar, and the nectar is what they then fill up their bellies with. It then becomes attached to their probiotics. They essentially churn it around kind of like a, a probiotic yogurt, and then they vomit it up into, so bee <laughs> vomit is honey. But also the pollen is also mixed with it, and they make all these different types of things. But what that means is, is everything that this animal does feeds on this and applies its own body to it. And it's body, the bees in particular, because they make honey, and <clears throat> for instance, the um, honey in the hive is very delicious to everybody, and so you would think that everyone wants to tear it apart, or, or the ants would climb into it and, and eat, but they're blocked out from eating it because the bees create all of these other, like say, antibiotic type of stuff, not only just in the honey, antimicrobial. So the honey that they make kills every type of thing that is foreign or that is disease and it's preserved for forever and but it also is infusing it with the dna information that comes from because it's literally made from the flowers and so like the idea of let's say um a spider bite or a snake bite they make the venom they make the anti-venom from the venom so like you're allergic to the seasons it's not you're just don't have that developed immune system so you can take in by finding local honey wherever you are get local raw honey and just start ingesting it and start putting into your life and then we can also add some other things like what's called propolis and propolis is this wax that they make around their hives that literally is like an antibiotic gum that uh, that's why the ants can't chew through it that's why only the bears get at it which is they'll knock them over but any of the other insects because they created a force field shield of an immune system the whole hive is an immune system the bees are a living immune system and that means honey is a living immune system that has the dna information to say you don't know how to decode this here let me tell you what to do about it and so by people ingesting the local honey they can start backing off of of their allergy medications and over-the-counter and all this other stuff because those are only to suppress your reaction well wouldn't it be nice to go back to a person who's what you would call a normal person saying you just don't have a reaction you breathe in that stuff and there's no way of getting around it because the pollens are everywhere and you need the pollens so the bee honey that is local honey that is made from these plants and trees that you walk around and that you're gonna breathe in, um, now your body's gonna say, oh, now I'll know what to do with it. Now I'm not gonna freak out. And that's the best way to get a real immune system. So, till next time, bye-bye.